Hey, are you chronically online? Because same, and if you are, you've likely heard the TikTok debate over spiderweb elbow tattoos. But if you're mentally just like doing all right, I will give you a refresher. I first heard of this when I saw this TikTok user emo.fio freaking out because she got a comment on one of her videos saying that her spiderweb elbow tattoo is typically meant for people who have been in prison and or are criminals. Guys, I've never been to prison. Um... So that is what we are getting into today, but quickly, I did just want to thank today's sponsor, Ana Luisa. And I'm really excited about Ana Luisa's December campaign because they've actually given me a coupon code for 20% off their entire website. So you can click the link in my description or put in the discount code CELLEST20 to get 20% off of Ana Luisa's jewelry. This extra discount is definitely great for the holidays because you can treat yourself or get a really nice gift for someone that you love this holiday season. So here are some of the jewelry items that Annalisa let me pick out this month. And this first one is the Dylan set. This is a set of two gold chain bracelets. I really love the difference in these two chains and how they go together so well. It's just like a thicker chain and then a simple thinner chain as well. They go so well together or you could wear them individually on each wrist. These are also just so simple to put on by yourself. You know some bracelets like the clasp is impossible and you have to have someone help you, but I've never had a problem with that with any Ana Luisa bracelet I've gotten. The next item is this Ina necklace and whenever I wear this I always get questions on where it's from. You can get it in gold and in silver. It's really just such a beautiful necklace and you can tell that it's really high quality. It's so simple and elegant. I feel like it goes with pretty much like any outfit and it kind of just like elevates anything that you wear. Really, really beautiful, fits the neck so well. Like this is a necklace that I could wear like every day. And then I also chose these Tia medium gold hoop earrings. A simple gold hoop I feel like is just so essential. And what's really great about these earrings is that they're so well made. You can tell that they're not gonna just break on you one day. If you're gonna get a gold hoop, I think these are just like the perfect gold hoop. So definitely check out Ana Luisa this holiday season. They're always updating their website with new, elegant, unique, high quality styles. And one of my favorite things about Ana Luisa is that they are dedicated to sustainability. All of their mailers, gift boxes, and jewelry carding are made of 100% recycled paper. And they are officially climate neutral certified. So like I said, you can either click the link in my description box or use the discount code CELLEST20 for 20% off this December when you're shopping with Ana Luisa. So thanks again to Ana Luisa for sponsoring this video. So let's go back to Emo Fio's original video. She just posted a video of her with her new spiderweb tattoo. It's like a heart around the elbow and spiderwebs and there's a little dangly spider coming from it. Just a pretty simple video. I guess she got this as a walk-in. In the comment in full says, looks awesome, but please be careful with the meaning behind it. It's typically meant for people who have been in prison and or criminals. And Emo Fio is in front of a Google search and this is what she said. Guys, I've never been to prison. Um, they didn't tell me this until after I got the tattoo, okay? So I didn't know that it had like prison related, jail related meaning until after it was already on my body permanently. So thanks for the comments telling me, but I don't know what to do with that. I don't know what to do with that information anymore. Um, black it out. Oh my God, that's going to hurt so bad. Black it out. <laughs> Fuck. The top comment's pretty funny. Someone said, guess you just have to go to prison. But yeah, she's right. Blacking out your entire elbow would be one of the worst tattoos pain-wise that you can get. Another top comment says, I mean, the stigma around tattoos has changed so much to the point where it won't really matter. Someone else said, no one told me about this either, but every tattoo artist I've spoken to about covering it up have said that it's lost its meaning and that I don't have to cover it. 
And then TikTok user Char Dev made a whole video about the meaning of spiderweb elbow tattoos. And unfortunately, this video has since been deleted, so I can't play it in full, but many people have stitched this video. So we're gonna see a few of those now. Spiderweb tattoos are most commonly associated with people having spent time in prison. I'm stitching this video for reach. It's really important that people understand the hidden meanings and connotations of these tattoos that they're putting on their bodies for the rest of their lives. The elbow spiderweb also means that you have a huge dump truck of an ass. So in one video, we kind of have like both sides of the argument there. Like this tattoo used to mean this awful thing. And then a lot of people being like, who cares? And then some of the comments of this video, someone said, I literally just like my spiderweb elbow. That's why I have it. 2022, I just like spiders. Sorry, I didn't go to jail. Tattoo culture has evolved so much and the nuances of it are not as significant anymore. I'm tired of explaining that I got the spiderweb tattoo because it looks tough and that's it. So essentially the argument is that spiderweb tattoos over the elbow signify having spent a significant amount of time in prison. Some people even saying that the more webs you have signifies the longer that you've been in prison. And there's also a claim that the symbol was once worn by white supremacist groups. Really, there's no like substantial evidence to back up any of these claims. It's just kind of word of mouth. And oftentimes that is the case with tattooing. It's so incredibly subjective. However, if you do Google spiderweb elbow tattoo meaning, this excerpt from this article pops up and it says, quote, Webs were inked on the elbows to symbolize their loyalty to white supremacist groups. Spiderweb tattoos gained popularity in prison systems all across the United States during the late 1990s. Even in modern times, the tattoo is still a popular prison tattoo. And this article is from the website Tat Ring. And the article was written by Richard Hale in October of this year. According to Tat Ring, Richard Hale is a tattoo enthusiast who studies and researches tattoo symbolisms, meanings, and history. Now, I'm not saying that Richard is wrong, but anyone can submit an article for Tat Ring. Essentially, we're all just Google searching this phrase, and just because of the SEO and how the article was set up, this comes to the top of Google as if it's fact. But really just some random guy wrote an article for this random tattoo website that I've never heard of before. But to be fair, like who is Richard realistically going to reference? It's not like there's anyone reporting on white supremacist activity from jail and wants to put their name on this article. To give him the benefit of the doubt, this does seem like it maybe was a connotation at some point, but it's just so hard to substantiate this as being fact. And actually, there's another stitch to that original video by Shardev, and I wanted to just play that for you now. Placement was actually co-opted by white supremacist groups. This person read about this um, information in a random tattooing book. As someone who's actually been to jail and been involved with gangs when I was a teenager, this is just like not true. I have several person of color homies that have spider web tattoos on their elbows. I have extremely anti-racist white homies that have um, spider web tattoos on their elbows. Um, I'm not sure where they got this information or who said this, but never once in my life have I heard somebody ever tell me that having a spider web on your elbow means is was co-opted by Yahtzees. Okay, so that TikTok is by user staring at the pavement. And like they said, they have been in jail. They know people who have these tattoos who are definitely anti-racist and that they just don't understand where this connotation came from. So I definitely think that's an interesting perspective to keep in mind. But Saved Tattoo also has an article on spiderweb tattoos in general. And Save Tattoo is a website that I'm more familiar with. I've definitely referenced them before in past videos. To me, they seem a little bit more legitimate as like a tattoo resource than Tat Ring. 
And according to Saved Tattoo, the spiderweb tattoo design became so popular among criminals that alongside the teardrop tattoo, the web became the most demanded tattoo to get in prison to commemorate an individual's time behind bars. Sacred Tattoo also mentioned the relation to racist groups, saying the tattoo indicated the wearer had killed someone from a minority group. And if the tattoo is on the elbow, the side of the neck, behind the ear, or on the face, it's more commonly associated with white supremacist groups. I think it's important to keep in mind that meanings change over time, but I don't think it's entirely right to completely discount this as a potential possible meaning, even something that used to be significant. It would be pretty cool if one of these tattoo publications like found an ex white supremacist and like actually interviewed them, but we don't have that information. And then I was thinking maybe I could do that, but how am I supposed to find an ex white supremacist? So if anyone knows any ex white supremacists who have been to jail in the last 10, 15 years, tell them to hit me up. I got some questions for him. And on TikTok, there's pretty general negativity towards anyone that brings up this connotation of the spiderweb elbow and prison and or racist groups. So for instance, there's this user that just duetted someone's video of them getting a spiderweb elbow tattoo with the It's definitely a little ironic that the people in the video that they're duetting are people of color and this person's trying to say like the tattoo has origins in white supremacy. It's just kind of weird to point out on their video specifically. And this person did get a lot of negativity in their comments. Someone saying, what were you trying to accomplish? She can get whatever ink she wants. With the creator responding, you're not wrong, I think the tattoo itself is cute, I just learned the origin behind it and thought I'd share, because most people don't know. The meaning is very outdated, not that serious in real life. And then TikTok user JMIKO333 posted a really popular video saying what your tattoos say about you. And this is what they said about the spiderwebs spider webs on your elbows you either didn't look up the meaning first or i'm scared of you so she said you either didn't look up the meaning or i'm scared of you someone then commented spider web on elbow has lost its meaning for sure everybody got one of these nowadays and this is what j m i k o 333 said People kept trying to argue with me about this and say that that's outdated, but I know that this is a popular prison tattoo because I have family members that work in the prison system. I was just trying to warn you, if you want to put that on your body, that's your business, but if the Brotherhood recognizes you, that's your problem. They're essentially saying, if you have this tattoo, fine, but what did she say? If the Brotherhood recognizes you, that's your problem. And yeah, I agree with that, honestly. Essentially, I see both sides of this argument. The tattoo is such a traditional symbol and has been replicated so many times, it's almost just like a rose. Like you can get a rose and not think about exactly what that rose means. And the web on the elbow like generally makes a lot of sense because the elbow is a pretty difficult area to tattoo. And the web, it just fits really well. It's circular. It doesn't warp that much when you stretch and when you bend your elbow. So it makes sense why this is so popular. Does that mean that it never had these connotations? No. And I think that if you're gonna get a tattoo, you should at least like look up the general connotations of this. Even if it's relevant or not, you should know that in advance. I think a lot of these meanings maybe were more prevalent back in the day when less people were tattooed. But nowadays, so many more people are tattooed that you really can't pin down a meaning to one tattoo. If you think about different cultures, different parts of the world, there's so many different meanings of symbols in general that you can't just say a blanket term, this means this. It just doesn't really work anymore. But when I thought about making this video, I asked myself, would I get this tattoo? Because I do have one elbow that is free. And I decided, no, I wouldn't get this tattoo. Honestly, I just don't want my elbow tattooed again. I've been through it once. I don't need to do it again. 
I can't even really consider getting my other elbow tattooed. I think that thing's just gonna be bare for the rest of my life. But then again, I'm pretty sure I've said in the past that I would never get my hand tattooed. And here we are. So overall, do I think this is a huge deal? No. Do I think you should Google your tattoos before you get them? Yeah. And that's kind of it. But you guys will have to let me know what you think about this whole TikTok tattoo debate over the spiderweb elbow tattoo in the comments down below. Thank you again to Ana Luisa for sponsoring this video. I really appreciate their support of my channel. It helps me so much. Like I said before, click the link in my description if you would like 20% off. But if you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. If you have, leave me this emoji in the comments so that I know that you are a real one. Bye everyone.